welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I've kind of taught myself um, to do these loose kind of curls if you are new to the channel you um, will learn that I used to have hair to about here and I recently chopped about seven inches off so I'm continuously learning how to get that effortless curl um, I'm not good at hair, so please take this with a grain of salt, but this is just what I've kind of taught myself over the last couple weeks on kind of what works for me and what doesn't. And I'm also um, going to show you guys some techniques that I've been taught. My One of my best friends is a hairstylist, so she's taught me a couple tricks to get me that kind of effortless curl. So if you also have similar hair or you're thinking about doing the chop, or something I hope you enjoy this video um, just to guys ugh, makes no sense just to let you guys know the lipstick that I'm wearing is Charlotte Tilbury Coachella coral so I thought that was pretty and then at the end once I have my curls I personally am not doing anything uh, crazy today so I'm just gonna put it in a half up with like a cute scrunchie um, I just have like this leopard kind of scrunchie and I'll show you guys products what tools and everything like that so if you want to see how I do my hair then just keep watching hair I straightened last night so it is still pretty straight I'm just brushing through it and then the first kind of trick that my friend taught me was if you want those kind of effortless curls that have straighter ends to just go through and straighten the ends of your hair before curling so I always straighten about four inches of the bottom parts of my hair. So just go through. I think that just helps with if you get a little bit of the end in the wand, then it's not going to curl and it'll help with that kind of look where it's just curly basically in the middle. And again, this is total preference. So if you like your ends completely curled, then skip that step. But that was something that I recently learned that I was not doing before and I just have a basic strainer. So for dry shampoo today, I'm going to go in with the Batiste Blonde Dry Shampoo. I like this because it actually has a bit of a tint in it. So if, if I have roots, which is often, I just got my hair done, so that's why it's all nice and blonde. But um, I go through and just kind of do that for volume. I did wash my hair yesterday, so my hair is not greasy yet, but adding that dry shampoo, I find just kind of gives it a little bit of volume. And then when we're done the curls today, I'm going to go in with this Bumble and Bumble hairspray. As for the wand, I am using, now Paige uses a curler with a, a barrel that has a clamp. I have not mastered how to do that yet, so I'm more confident with a wand. If you have a glove, use it. Um, I just have done this for a while with my longer hair, so I kind of know how to do it. And just because I said that, I'm going to burn myself. But yeah, if you have a glove, use that. And I think this would be around a one and a half inch wand. And I'm just going to start around the face. I always go against the um, curl away from the face. Um, that's just, again, preference. And I just do about one wrap around the wand and then towards the end I'll wrap Ooh. okay let's try that again uh, one wrap around and then towards once I've had it on here for about 15 10 15 seconds towards the very end I'll wrap the bottom part and again keep as much out as I can and then pull it out so it kind of just has that one curl away from the face and the end as you can see is quite straight so that's again just kind of how I like it and I just let it cool down I don't touch it um, and then I'm gonna go again I take about a medium-sized chunk I might take a bit out because it's a lot but this way I'm gonna go towards my face I switch the direction of the curls every other time so since I just did a curl towards the face I'm gonna do one um, no, away from the face, towards the face, away from the face, towards. So hopefully this is clear and I keep the wand straight up. Paige taught me that trick too. And then again, towards the end, I'm just going to wrap this around for like 10 more seconds. 
so it's gonna look like that. It doesn't look cute in the beginning, so don't get scared. So we're gonna grab another kind of medium-sized chunk, and this one is going to go away from my face. We're gonna wrap it around once, and this these ones I get kind of closer to the root. Um, there's really no special way of doing it. I think the actual technique is just to keep the wand straight up, um, leave as much out at the end that you want, and switch direction of the curls. So I'm gonna follow that throughout this whole side of my face and then I'll come back when I'm working on this side. So this side is done, very loose. Um, it's more just texture. Um, so let's start with this side. And again, the front pieces, we go away from the face. Do, 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 do. And I should probably hairspray this side. So after we finish this curl, I'm just gonna go back quickly and hairspray. So let's hairspray this. Try to not touch um, this as much as you can. I know it's hard and I always am like find myself playing with it, but let it completely cool down before. Okay, so now we're gonna go towards the face as our second piece to add just different direction to the curl. So some people section off their curls. Again, I'm not, I'm not trying to make this look too uniform. I just want it to have a bit of texture. I want my hair to have a little bit of a curl. Um, I don't want it to look like perfect curls by any means. I just like this kind of tasseled, messy look. So if you use this technique, play around with it, find what you like, what you don't like. I find that's really the only way with anything. You find out what you like, what you think, ooh, I, th I think I like it all one direction. I don't think I like switching up the way of the curl. Only you really know what you like. I just find that this could be helpful for someone who just did this chop similar to me and is like, how do I make this look cute? And I have no means mastered it, but um, for now, this is kind of what works. This is my go-to um, when I want to add a little bit of a curl and not have my hair pin straight. I did actually, like I said, straighten my hair last night and I actually like the way it looks straight. I think a little bit of texture is kind of cute once I style it with you guys. I think it'll, you know, those straight and this is kind of going to be my go-to when I wear my hair down, but I do wear my hair up a lot of the time as well. So trial and error is what this is. So I'm just doing the back, rotating direction. And then I'm going to kind of continue to curl in areas that I think are too straight. And then once my whole head is done, I will come back and we will style it together. So I'm done this side. Done both. I haven't brushed through it or anything. So I'm going to, to spray again. And then since it's cooled down, I just kind of play around, brush my hands through it. I don't need an actual like hairbrush. Um, because again, I want it to be as messy as possible and there's just a little bit of a curl throughout the whole head. And yeah, I don't use much product other than that. I'll go in again and just spray with the dry shampoo. Again, just for some texture. But you can get it kind of as voluminous as you want. This obviously looks like it's a bit much, but I just kind of want to play around. And yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing with my hair lately that gives it that kind of effortless look. And I think it's cute. I think I'm definitely gonna try a bunch of different styles with my hair. Make sure you turn these off when you're done. I just unplug them because I always unplug them and then forget if I unplug them, turn my car around, come back home. So yes, I unplug them. And then like I told you guys in the beginning, I personally am just wearing like a hoodie and leggings today. So. I think it would be cute to try to do this kind of like a um, half up pony with this kind of messy look. So I'm just gonna grab a big chunk of my hair and I'm going to put 
this up half away. And I think I might grab a couple sections from the front and pull them down just so it's kind of more effortless, but I think this scrunchie almost looks too big and like too over to the side. So let's fix this. I think I'm going to grab some more hair from the back. I think I just need more actual hair in this. Yeah, I think that's better. Then maybe make it tighter. Yeah, I'm gonna have my hair like this today. And very simple, cute, the little scrunchie adds a little bit, like you tried a little bit, but really it took you two seconds to put this up because, and the lipstick helps too. That's a good tip if you wanna look like you tried a little bit harder. Put on a boulder lip. Yeah, you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll probably have many of these coming up on my channel because I'm continuously learning how to do this and what looks good, what doesn't, what suits me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Please do not forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that fun stuff, and I will see you soon.